What's up guys, the TechSpot here, and in this video, I am finally going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch using CheckRain on a Windows computer. I personally bought this Windows computer to basically show you guys how to jailbreak on CheckRain using a Windows computer, because I know many of you guys only have a Windows computer or PC. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so we are on our Windows computer and all you need is a USB flash drive of 512 megabytes or more. This one right here is 16 gigabytes and it's 3.0 so I'll be super quick on this but again basically any flash drive will work. Now all you want to do is go and plug it into your computer. Alright, so mine is plugged in and now what we want to do is open up an internet browser. Click on the link that will be down below in the description. It'll bring you right here and all you want to do is scroll down until you find Boot Rain Linux plus Check Rain on USB. And again, this is for Windows, so you don't have to download Linux. But anyways, you guys can see, first thing you need is boot range. So this is for 64-bit, this is for 32-bit. Now to find out which your Windows is, what you want to do is go over here to search and type in my PC or this PC. Go ahead and click on that. And then once it's open, here it is. What you want to do is right click on this PC over here. And once you do that, click on properties. Once in properties, you guys can see over here, next to system type, it says 64-bit operating system. So that's how you can be sure which one to download. All right, so for me, it will be this right here. Just gonna click on the download. And once done, it'll be a zip file. So just go ahead and double click on it. It'll open right up. And if you're on Windows 10, it'll go and extract it right away. So we get this file right here. And all you wanna do is take this file and drag it onto your desktop. Now I already do have it right over here, so I'm not gonna do it again. But if you're on Windows 8 or 7 or anything else, you can use WinRAR or 7-zip to extract the file and basically get the same file right here. All right, so once you have that disk image, you are basically to go back to your internet browser and we're gonna be installing one more thing. Now this is the program that we're gonna be using for our USB. It's this website right here. You wanna go and click on the website. It'll bring you to this page. Go ahead and download it for your Windows using that green download button and install this program again. It's called Belena Etcher, and that's it. That's all you need, exit our internet browser. And again, make sure that USB flash drive is now plugged in and open up Belena Etcher, the program that we just downloaded. All right, so here it is. Now, first thing you wanna do is click on select image over here. And once you click on select image, you want to go to your desktop or wherever you save that disk image file that we extracted and gonna click on it and click on open. Once you do that, that part is done. Now it'll go and automatically select your USB flash drive over here. But if this is not the correct one, go to click on change and select the right one. And now all you guys do is click on flash. So I'm gonna click on flash, hit yes, and it'll go and start flashing your USB. So it could be a bootable USB flash drive. And all right, so once it's done, that part is done. You guys can see flash complete, X out of there. And this part is basically done. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and turn off your computer. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go shut down and turn our computer completely off and make sure that your USB flash drive is still plugged into your computer. Now go ahead and turn our computer and enter your BIOS. For me, that is the escape key, so you guys can see the escape key pops up on the bottom left over there. And for your computer, it may be different. It may be the F12 key. It'll go ahead and pop up on your startup screen. It'll say like press F12 to enter the boot menu. And we are now over here in the BIOS. So what you could do now is go ahead and navigate using your arrow keys and the enter key on your keyboard. So I'm gonna scroll down over here to this option right here, boot device options. Now your BIOS will look different, but you wanna go to the same option right here. It might be named something else, but you guys could figure it out, it's pretty easy. And anyways, it's gonna click on enter. And you guys can see there is my USB hard drive or flash drive, and that's the SanDisk Ultra. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter again, and now it'll boot up into that flash drive. What you wanna do is go and select the first option, and again, go and click on enter. And it'll bring this up, and now all you gotta do is wait. It's going to go and start preparing it. Now, once that part is done, you guys can see at the very bottom left, it did stop and it says void dash live login. So the login, first the username is Anon. So you want to go and type in A-N-O-N and go and type in enter. And the password is void Linux and it's all lowercase. So let's go and type that in. Now it might not show up. So let's go and just type in V-O-I-D-L-I-N-U-X. So you guys can see it doesn't really show up in the password, but let's go and hit enter because we did type it in. Now, if you're going to type it in incorrectly, it will just say login incorrect. So we got to go and try again. So again, A-N-O-N, -N, enter, and the password is void Linux. Enter. All right, there we go. And now we are logged in and it did work successfully. My keyboard 
on this HP laptop is kind of bad. So what you want to do is type in sudo space check rain. All right. So now once typed in sudo space check rain, and again, the I in check rain is a one. So we're going to tap on enter. And now all we got to do is wait and we'll be brought to this menu right here. So now let's go ahead and get our iOS device. Here's my iPhone 10 that I'm going to be jailbroken. And again, you do have to be on iOS 13.0 all the way up to 13.3. So I am on 13.3, so this is compatible. It's gonna exit out of here, plug our device into our computer. All right, so it did plug in, and now it does ask me to trust this computer. So all I'm gonna do is tap on trust. Now over here in that orange text, it should be able to detect your device and you should be good to go. And now let's head over to the second option right here, which is start and hit enter. And now we are going to jailbreak. Click on next and it's entering our device into DFU mode with just one enter button on your keyboard and it's putting our device into recovery mode and there we are. So now we are in recovery mode and now it'll bring us to this screen. So all it's saying over here is that we are going to in the step one over here, we're gonna hold down both the power button and the volume button at the same time. And then after it goes to that second step right here, we are just gonna let go of this side button right here and keep on holding down on the volume down button, okay? So once you are ready, make sure start is again highlighted using your arrow keys, and we're gonna hit enter to start. So here we go, I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna press down both these buttons, the side button and the volume down button. You guys can see I'm pressing down both, and I'm gonna let go of the side button and keep on holding down on the volume down button just like that. You can see I'm not holding down the side button anymore. And just like that, we should be good to go. You guys can see I can let go now. And once this bar appears, we are basically set and good to go. So now let's go ahead and wait. It's going to jailbreak my device. We are now in the verbose boot. Yeah, I can see it says all done over here. So I'm gonna go unlock my device and there is a check rain app that we need. Again, hit trust and on our keyboard, we can hit enter right here. And we brought back to the screen if you want to go ahead and jailbreak another device. Now we can go and unplug our device. And for your Windows computer, if you want to go back to regular Windows, all you have to do is unplug your flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, unplug our flash drive, I'm going to turn off the computer. So I'm gonna turn it off, just hold on the power button. You can then go ahead and proceed and turn it back on. So I'm turning it back on. So again, don't press on your escape key again or F12. So we are now back to Windows. Okay, so that is basically it for this computer. All right, so now back on our iOS device. Again, let's open up that check rain app that we got. And all you gotta do is tap on Cydia and tap on install Cydia. Once you do that, it'll go ahead and download Cydia on your device. And it's like that, we are done. We now have Cydia, open it up, and boom. We now Joe broke successfully using a Windows computer on iOS 13.0 all the way up to 13.3. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please be sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Be sure to subscribe for more. This is Tech Spot, and peace out.